Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, I have discussed about Laravel the default authentication system, how that default single authentication system actually work. But right now, I want to discuss about that multi authentication system. So friend, that will be very much interactive. One of the things I hope you will like it very much. How much easily you can create that multi authentication system with the Jerry stream. So step by step, everything I will show you. Like right now, I'm already logging with the user, right? So now if you click as a logout, so into the logout, that is a logging. So you can see that is actually one of the, by default, one of the URL. That is actually slash logging. And if you want to access that register, okay and you can see that is actually one of the another one page is now loaded as a register right so now i want to do i want to create another um, authentication system for the admin so when you install laravel when you install laravel um, default authentication system where we get by default some of the table right where we might get by default some of the table as a user table so right now i want to do i want to create another table for the admin so for the admin here i want to do i also want to load the with the same page like here that will be on the logging so this will be for the user and also i want to create another one as a admin and then slash logging okay so when you click as a admin logging then our one of the another mm, logging page will be loaded and from here if you put your appropriate admin email address and the password then it will be returned redirect to our another dashboard as a admin dashboard Okay, friends, so how can do that work? I show you like right now that is our um, default one is a locking and here if you put your appropriate user, that means I have already created one of the user in our user table as a name, there is the email address and the password. So if you put your appropriate email address and the password, click as a login. Now you can see uh, this user is successfully locking and it's visible that name that is our user right so that's all that actually default route if you want to check that all that your route list you can also check it i show you if you want to check it uh, like here here if you run with the php artisan and then route and then list so that is one of the command as a php artisan route list if you click as a enter you can see friend all that default route okay so my monitor is not much big size so here if you if you can say everything is ready made like there is a user profile the password that is our default one of the route the confirm password route okay that is all the trout and then the password you can see there is a register and register is actually that is one of the post method and there is also another register and this laravel 45 http controller register and this method that means that is actually one of the create method so this method is responsible for the create one of the new uh, user right so i have already created one of the user as a user and also they can see there is a um, logout so logout functionality that means when you click as a logout okay when you click as a logout then this uh, method that this destroy method is responsible for the logout and that is the file location as a laravel 45 http controller and the authentication session controller and then there is a destroy method okay friend and also for the locking is the same so as i told you here i want to do and to uh, create two things one will be for the user another will be for the admin so for the logging that is actually the one of the create method and this create method is responsible for this user logging okay so now we have to do we have to create the same things for the admin right I hope friend you all understand about it as I told you everything is by default so with the default authentication system how much easily you can create that multi authentication system I will show you then everything will be very much clear to you okay so right now that is our um, default all that uh, file that means default all the trout list so first of all I want to do for our admin I want to create one of the controller so in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you how can create the controller so if you want to create this controller like in our um, that is actually our http that means in our http that is a controller so into the controller area i want to create one of the new controller as an admin controller that is a by default one of the controller right now i want to create new one as a php artisan better i make it a little bit big size Okay, I name it as a PHP artisan and then make controller and I want to create one of the controller name as the admin controller. Okay, I name it as admin controller. 
So this type of one of the controller I want to create. Now click as enter. Now you can see our controller created successfully. That means right now if you go to that our HTTP, that is a controller and you can see that is our admin controller. Right friend? And also I want to do, I want to create another table as I told you before but when you install that Laravel, Laravel provided by default one of the table as a user table. So this type of the same things I just simply copy it and then I will actually replace it with for the admin. Okay, so I show you like that is our default one as a user right now I want to do I want to create another um, table. So I want to create another table as a admin and also I want to create another model like if you go to um, that app in the app that is a model you can see when you install Laravel um, and Laravel authentication system by default they have one of the model as a user model. So that is our user model. So, so right now I want to do the same things for our admin. Okay, I want to show you like right now I close everything. I close everything from here and that is actually user model, right? So first of all, I want to do and to create one of the migrations table. Um, if you want to create it, that would be as a PHP artisan and then make, I name that as a model. Okay, I create as a model. I want to create that model name as an admin. And also I want to create one of the migration that will be as a hyphen and then the M. That means it should be created two things. It should be created one of the model as an admin and also it should be created one of the admin migration table. Right? Now click as enter. Now you can see friend, it's now created one of the model successfully and also it's created one of the migration table. Right? So that is actually our model and that is our admin model. And also I have created another one in our database into the database if you go to that migration here you can see that is actually our admin. So that is our admin table. So this admin table will be just like our user as I told you I will actually um, copy everything from to this area that means from our existing one and then we'll replace it from our for our admin. So that will be just like that same for now for the user I copy everything. Okay, I copy everything from to this position and now on, that is our another one as an admin. So now I simply paste it. Okay, so for the A it will be created one of the admin a table and our field will be just like that same. Here I don't need to change anything. Okay, so that will be perfect. And also for the admin uh, that means the model that is our user model from the user model I copy everything. I copy everything and now in our model as an admin here I just simply paste it. Okay. I just simply paste it only we have to do we have to change that class name our class name will be as an admin so I simply add that as an admin so that's all you have to do so now I want to do I want to actually migrate it that means here I want to migrate this table now if you click as a save all so in our database right now there you can see they have no um, table for the admin so now I want to uh, migrate that means after this I simply run as a PHP artisan migrate okay that is a php addition migrate now click as enter now you can see our migration table is now successfully created so now if you go there click as this refresh yes you can see there is another table is added as if admins and into the admin area i have added actually the same as the same all that field and you can see now that is our admin field as a name email email verification password that's just like our user i hope friend it is very much clear to you so now I want to do, I want to insert some of the data. Okay, that means here I want to insert some of the data. You can insert this data manually from to the import rather than you can also see it. Like if you go to that Laravel official website and into the official website, if you go to the documentation and to the documentation, if you go to the database and with the database, you can see that is actually the seeding. So that is actually the seeding if you want to create there is a PHP artisan make seeder and the user seeder. Okay. And if you want to find out that file that this file is in our um, that, that is actually middleware. So that is a provider with now we don't need this into the database. You can see into the database area there is a factory. So also by default one of the factories as a user factories and that is all that our seeders. Okay, so before creating that seeder, we have to do have to create one of the factory. So here I want to create another factory for the admin. So if you want to create this factory, that is also into the packages. Uh, that means the testing. Into the testing, if you go to the database, into the database right now we are using Laravel 8, right? So into the Laravel 8, you can see there is a factory, and that is actually the generating factories. So here. 
that is our factory it is all that code so you can see that is all that code so right now i want to do i want to create one of the new factory so if you want to create this factory that will be a, our command as a php artisan make factory and then whatever the name you want to create you can actually create it so first of all i want to do i want to create another one i copy it and here before by default as a user factory so right now i want to do I want to create one of the new factory i simply paste it so now i want to do i want to create another new one okay not that uh, post factory here i want to create another one and just name it as admin admin factory okay so this type of another fact name i want to create now click as enter now you can see friend is now created successfully that means the factory created successful into the factories and that is our admin factories so now here i want to do in our this definition okay into the definition method area i want to add uh, some of the data that means here i have already created that all that our name field email field here i will like, just simply push some of the data if you go to that our user factory by default you can see that is actually the return option better i copy simply let's return total things from our user factory and now in our admin factory here i simply paste it okay i want to push some of the data so that will be name field the email field the um, email verification field as i told you here for the admin i have already copied everything uh, from the user so that is all that our default field right so right now in our field that means in our admin area that is a name so name i want to do and to push it i push one of the name on here i name it that will be as a admin okay that will be as a name will be as a admin and also email address so for the email address i simply remove it here i want to do and to remove um, i want to use one of the email addresses admin at the rate gmail.com so for the user i am actually using that user at the gmail.com and for the admin i want to use as a admin at the rate gmail.com so that's all the data will be actually saved in particular um, this table okay that means in our admin table this field area it will be saved so that will be as the email verification here we don't need to do anything and that's the password and this password by default one of the password you can see by default one of the password as one of the bit trip password and this password name as a password okay so right now it's okay with me if you want to change it you can change it so remember token as a string so if you want to access um, the string so here also you have to do you have to use it you can see here we don't need um we have to use it so if you go to that our user factory into the user factory that is actually our use illuminate support and the str so i copy it and then here i simply paste it okay so here i'm using that str so for the reasons i simply add that as a str okay friends so that's all you have to do and after that in our cedar into the cedar there is a database cedar so into the cedar area now i want to do and to add this admin factory right so that means when uh, i will run that means here if you go there I have already um, added that that means if you go to the database into the database there is a seeding and when you run this seeding command that means this command then this file will be run okay that means this cedar file database cedar will be run so into the database cedar i just simply put some of the notification that means you run our this admin factory okay that means this one i want to run it and here you can see that is by default one of the common line so right now i want to do and to open it I make it as a not the noted so now in our app model I have created as a admin with our admin model so that is our admin with this admin model our factory so that is a clear factory and then create right so right now here we don't need to use this I just simply want to run our this admin factory that means this one so now i want to do i want to seed it okay so here if you want to seed it you can also directly access that cedar rather than i also want to do and to migrate this uh, table that means migrate our admin table again and here i want to install it so if you want to do that work here i want to run one of the php artisan and the migrate and then also I want to seed it so that will be as a seed okay so now if you click as a enter yes you can see it's now showing as a nothing to migrate because of all before i have already migrated right so that is a showing as a nothing as migrate and database seeding completed successfully that means this all the data so here i have passed that name i passed that email address and also i passed that password so this all the data will be now redacted to our database table okay that means here i have already passed that our admin see to the admin area it will be redacted i show you like if you go to our admin before that was empty now click as a browse 
yes you can see friend now that is id number name i name it as admin right so here i name that i push that name as a seed that name as the admin and email address as the admin at the gmail.com so that is our admin gmail.com password everything we successfully see this data in our admin table so friend i hope it's very much clear to you how can see this data how can pass all the data into the database table so now for our multi-authentication system also we have to do we have to create another guard by default actually they are using that for the user using that web guard so now i want to do and to create another guard so how can create this guard in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video